do YouTube this is venomous woe here and I'm about to comment a Pokemon online battle which I have not done in quite some time I left the Pokemon battling scene for about six months according to my friend orb runner so yeah basically uh, I'm back in the Pokemon scene I once you go Pokemon you never go back so <laughs> anyways I'm just uh, commenting this battle I had against a guy named Kribosh, or Kribosh, or something like that. So, yeah. His team is a Sun team. I have, like, a um, Weatherless team. So, this is going to be pretty interesting. Let's see how well I fare against Kribosh. Alright, so that pretty much means I'm going to start the battle now. Yoink! Okay, so. First thing I'm going to do is send out Mammoth Swine. He sends out his Nine Tails. And, uh, just to get that Sun up. And uh, I'm not sure what he's going to do. I think he's going to switch out, but I figured he probably wasn't going to switch out and try and hit me with Solar Beam or Fire Blast or something. So I stay in and go for Earthquake. Anyways, he brings out Venusaur, and I am really, really scared of this thing because I'm worried about Hidden Power Fire or whatever move it has. So I decided to switch out into Amoongus to take whatever attack Venusaur has, and he goes for Solar Beam, which is pretty good. So anyways, he goes for Hidden Power Fire next turn just to do some super effective damage on Amoongus. And I decided to go for Spore just to incapacitate Venusaur for pretty much the rest of the game. Which is good, because uh, Venusaur just needs to stay incapacitated. It just needs to happen. Okay, so Espeon comes out. I go for Hidden Power Ice. Does not do a large amount of damage to Espeon, simply because Espeon is so specially bulky it's not even funny. Now... This is a really bad matchup. I need to get out of there because I fear the Psychic type attack from Espeon. He goes for Psychic. And knocks my Star Raptor into the red zone. He could have pretty much knocked my he pretty much could have killed my Star Raptor right here, but he goes for Calm Mind instead. I'm not entirely sure why. But um he just lets me go he just lets me brave bird his sorry ass into oblivion. So yeah, Espeon is out of the game. So I'm pretty much winning 6-4, and now it's 6-5, and now it's 5-4 because Star Raptor bit the dust, thanks to recoil damage. So I bring out Starmie as my next Pokemon, and he sends out Jolteon. Now this is a really unfavorable matchup, so I decide to switch out and go into Amoongus again. And he goes for Charge Beam on Starmie, predicting Starmie to stay in, I guess. And he gets the special attack boost, which is kind of bad, but not really, because Amoongus's bulky special defense can take most attacks. I go for the Stun Spore on Jolteon, just so my teammates can easily finish it off. So yeah. Anyways, I, he goes for Hidden Power Rise to finish me off. Get some super effective damage on Amoongus. And now I decide to send out Mamoswine to finish off Jolteon. Now Jolteon's paralyzed, so Jolteon gets that speed drop, and that means Mamoswine is going to be able to easily wreck Jolteon's day. So now I'm winning 4-3, and he brings out Dugtrio. Now, with Dugtrio, I see the Sucker Punch coming from a mile away, but I decide to stay in anyway because um, I don't think I have anything else that can really take it out, except for maybe Starmate. But I don't really want Starmie in the way of a Sucker Punch, so yeah. I decide to stay in, take that Sucker Punch, and take Dodrio out. He sends out his Volcarona. Now, I stay in because I predict that Volcarona will go for a Quiver Dance. And I don't really want Volcarona to have full health when it Quiver Dances. But he goes for Fire Blast instead and finishes me off, so that kind of blows. So now I bring out Starmie to finish off Volcarona. Volcarona does not have a speed boost, so Starmie will easily outspeed it. And Volcarona is out of the game. Now, it's safe to say that uh, Starmie is one of the most badass Pokemon in OU. And finally, he brings out his last Pokemon, Venusaur. 
Now, Venusaur is asleep, so there's not really much he can do. I go for Ice Beam. Just to get that super effective damage off of Venusaur, because Surf and Thunderbolt don't really do that well against Venusaur. Venusaur's still asleep. And I go for the Ice Beam to finish it off, and that is game! So, good job, Kribosh. You took out half my team, so I'd say that you did pretty good. Anyways, comment on this video, like, rate, subscribe, do whatever you guys do. Don't be a stranger! Alright, peace out, guys. See ya.